Hello everyone and welcome to another video with me, Umber Rays. And truly this week, as one of my favorite Hearthstone cards ever always intros with, it is the calm before the storm. Yeah, we are less than a week from getting FF7 details, as I have said in quite a few number of videos by now. So I'm pretty sure that everybody knows about it. Um, but <clears throat> not even thinking about that for a second. Uh, it is also almost a week until the FF7 event starts, and I'm assuming that it's going to be going for a full month. I have a bunch of characters, some vision cards, and whole, at least a few pieces of equipment. It's going to be a big, big, big time, and that's leading into the 1.5 year anniversary. So what do we have this week? Well, I hate to call it filler, but it kind of is filler. This is our mid-month banner where we have two characters coming in uh, and it looks like it's going to be a very similar situation to the previous month's banner so let's talk about it so first of all we have uh you know all right so first of all <clears throat> let's just get this one out of the way so Ramur uh is she was both of these characters were part of the side story at the beginning of the month and I, I kind of wish the side story went all month just because, I mean, they, are, they were in it. So it would kind of be nice if it was still going. But regardless, uh, Remur is going to be a character that you can get through an acquisition quest. Uh, basically, she is going to have kind of the same way that uh, a certain other unit had. Uh, particularly, bring him up in case you forgot because it has been in there. Cowlet and Cowlet last month was is a very similar situation to what Remur is going to be. Uh, he was a character that you could get the first copy of very easy, and then by doing a whole bunch of like the really easy quests as well as um, uh, sorry uh, achievements, uh, you could basically get this character up to LB3 pretty easily, and I'm expecting Remur will be the exact same situation. For anyone who has a even moderately decent team, uh, it should be really easy to get this character uh, Remur up to 120 in the same way that was my experience basically getting Cowlet up to 120. But it does mean that we are looking to a very similar situation to what uh, Cowlet was in the sense that this character will not have a limit burst to them. This seems to be a new thing where a lot of characters are being put in the game potentially for free through selection quests and have all of their character shards that way. Or another way is that um, you can get them through these uh, acquisition quests where you can end up getting <clears throat> basically the unit and a portion of their shards. Uh, now, to take a look at it, uh, Remor is going to feature a Time Mage. And this is interesting because this is a UR Time Mage. And she's going to have her full, uh, like, EX120. So I am very curious. Also, it does note that this is the... This is a pretty easy-to-get character that will also have access to Scholar, which was available recently on... Um, uh, rule in January and that class was pretty good it was a pretty good new class uh, for mages that were capable of dealing with physical units so and uh, last but not least we have white mage and I'm pretty sure I didn't make any mistakes on the statement I just said but anyway Remor I mean she's a free unit she's a dark class elemental mage uh, I'm pretty sure that I can think of some units off the top of my head that can synergize well with that. <laughs> Dark Witch Helena. Um, but anyway, or Black Witch Helena, whatever she prefers to go by. Uh, anyway, yeah, Time Mage, I'm interested to see if a UR120 is going to be different from Phoebe's 120 in terms of what enhancements she gets and what skills she gets better. Um, but Scholar is a pretty good subclass job, and White Mage also just makes her a potential free healer, which, hmm, maybe FF7 is going to have Aerith. If we're getting a free healer, it's probably going to be a new premium healer that's going to be way better than this one. So yeah, I, I, I'm excited for Remur. Uh, I like the general style that she's got in terms of her design, and I really, you know, I don't know, dark, dark elemental stuff, man. It 
See, I'm never going to say no to it. It seems to like me in this game lately. So, yeah. I'm looking forward to Remur, and I'm very happy that she will not be Acha. Now, moving up, we do have Velric, uh, which... I wonder if he'll be changed to Beric. That's kind of more of a... Hmm. It'll be interesting to see. All right, so... This is interesting. We actually have a ice elemental character here, which is pretty cool. Um, no pun intended, but there it is. Uh, yeah, it's been a little while since we've seen a UR ice elemental character. And obviously, in the fourth week of this month, we know that we are getting Laswell and Rain both getting their uh, EX120, which is promising for this guy, to say the least. Uh, he, he, basically, I mean, he, we take a look at his jobs. He does have Nightblade, uh, as his, like, primary with, uh, Fighter underneath, and last but not least, Soldier. What this basically tells me is that he is going to be very good against other physical units, and what's more, he's going to actually be, um, pretty strong, too, in the physical capability. I mean, like, honestly, an Ice Elemental character... There are some interesting characters you can potentially pair with this, and there is some good Ice Slash. Uh, if you take a look at, just off the top of my head, Gilgamesh. Uh, we already mentioned Laswell, and um, potentially Agrius, too. There is potentially a really strong Ice Slash team that is coming together here. And Nightblade is known, and even advertised here, as having its Triple Slash ability, which is... A great little chaining ability um so yeah and and this also absorbs damage so first of all i think he's going to be a counter physical unit because fighter is just so good at that uh having strike abilities is not a detriment to a unit's kit and uh obviously with nightblade he's always going to have access to this triple hit chaining and heal ability which could make him Kind of dangerous to go up against and fight. Soldier might be just there to power him up in case he's good in a raid or something. But yeah, kind of think that this guy is going to be good. And who knows, maybe maybe Cloud's going to be ice as well. Okay, that's very unlikely. But if Cloud is ice, you're going to be happy to have two giant sword-wielding ice slashers that could deal a lot of damage. Who knows, maybe Cloud will get Nightblade as well. Kind of having a hard time feeling, oh, that's bad. Now, since this character is a gotcha character, he is going to come with a Limit Burst. And this Limit Burst is dealing large damage. It does have, uh, looks to be Defense Penetration, or it's either, def I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just Defense Penetration, but it could be Slash Defense Penetration. Either way, he's getting through other units' defenses, which makes him good for dealing damage. But it also has don't act on it. What's a little bit not great about this guy's limit burst. First of all, uh, well, I mean, it's a single target limit burst. So it's very, very like one unit focused on. And um, I'm I just got to address the elephant in the room. Um, also, because Global just recently got Orin as well. This is the next ice character who has a fire looking limit burst. Maybe it's red ice. I don't know. I've seen red ice in Ocarina of Time. Um, but honestly, I, I think we need to have an intervention with Gumi and ask them whether or not they know what ice is. I mean, I have to assume they know what ice is. I, I've seen them with drinks on their live streams and... Uh, Maybe we can confirm that there was some ice in there at some point. Uh, maybe they've gotten fire and ice confused. I don't know. I'm not a doxer. But what is important here is that um, very awkward that we now have two ice units. But, well, two ice units that fire limit burst. But maybe him and Orin will just go really well together. Very, excuse me, hmm. Very curious as to why this keeps happening. You should get it like an attack bonus if he's like chaining with Orin. There is another chaining partner. Anyway. Yeah. Both new characters look pretty darn good. Uh, one of them is free. The second one is a gotcha character. 
Honestly, I don't see this as being like a really big thing for a lot of players, uh, unless you're skipping seven, uh, which is pretty unlikely. And given the fact that Cloud, we know Cloud's coming and he will be a, another sword DPS unit, this unit might be overshadowed very easily. But we're going to have to wait and see what Cloud looks like. Either way, uh, it's nice to see another male you are in the gotcha. I don't feel that there's quite enough of them, so it's great to see another one. So yes, uh, you will be able to get our new Time Mage for free. <clears throat> Remur will also come with a uh, kind of a crafting quest, an EX quest, if you will. Uh, Mage's Clothes. Um, so I'm assuming, just a hunch, I don't know why. Might be mage orientated? Don't know. Don't don't quote me on that. Could, could turn out that it is actually for um, tanks. I don't know. But yeah, uh, something also to note is that JP is seen now this month an accessory, the gold anklet, this mage piece of equipment, and from the raid, a um, armor. So basically, I'm thinking that the rest of the month is just going to be pure weapons. Like, we are only getting crafting weapons in the FF7 event and uh, probably Cloud's sword and Tifa's fists. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how much further it goes, whether the FF7 event has any armor whatsoever with it. Because right now, I mean, there's just been such an armor-heavy month that I don't foresee it happening. So yeah, uh, that's going to be basically the JP side this week. I don't really... I'm not expecting anything else for content. Uh, obviously, it's still just the big countdown until FF7 starts. And um, yeah... That's basically my week, so that's okay. I'll, I'll take a week off for vacation time and just get ready for that live stream on Saturday. So anyway, thanks for watching, take care, and see you next.